eat it. Uh, I just remember Nicole fell and hurt herself. And uh, this guy kind of got into a karate thing. And I said, well, you think you can kick my ass? And I remember I grabbed a knife. I do remember that portion, taking a knife from Charlie. And to be honest, after that, I don't remember. Except I'm standing there and I say this, but this is not even that. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Right. I know we got to back up again. Right. Could be um, murdered the way they were without everybody being covered in blood. Like they killed me. Who I was was, was attacked and murdered. Even though the game is indoors, it wouldn't have mattered, but still, it's nice to have a beautiful day like this. Hey, let me take a moment to say thank you to all the people who reached out to me. Uh, uh, my health is good. I mean, obviously, I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it, and I'll be uh, back on that golf course, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. But it was very nice hearing from you and hearing those good, positive words. Thank you. Now, as far as the game goes, uh, obviously, my prediction is not hope. I'm basing it on who's on the field. Uh, I see a, a 24 to 20 win by the 49ers. <laughs> and that, as I said, that's not hope. I'm basing that on uh, the quality of the players that are on the football field. So who's going to be MVP? Prody, I mean, Purdy, or McCaffrey. Of course, if KC wins, it'll probably be uh, Mahomes. But I'm predicting number 19. And I'm not talking about Johnny Unitas. <laughs> Uh, in any event, breaking news today: the break. The family of the American footballer O.J. Simpson say he has died. They said he succumbed to cancer on Wednesday and was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. O.J. Simpson was once one of America's top football players, but was later accused of the murder of his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. From the dazzling heights of NFL stardom to a life shadowed by controversy and tragedy, O.J. Simpson's story is a stark portrayal of a fall from grace unparalleled in public memory. But it's the latter years of his life, marked by personal struggles, a profound legal battle, and his ultimate demise, that paint the most complex and poignant picture of a man who once had it all. How did his life unravel so dramatically? What can we learn from his tragic end? This is the story of O.J. Simpson's final chapters, a journey through triumph, scandal, and the search for redemption that ended as somberly as it once dazzled. In this video, we dive deep into Simpson's downfall, the lingering shadows of his past actions, and the somber details of his tragic death. Join us as we explore the final days of a figure who captured the American consciousness like few ever have. O.J. Simpson's story begins in the glaring spotlight of American sports and celebrity. A natural talent on the football field, he was not just a record-breaking running back, but a charismatic presence, one that easily transitioned into the realms of advertising and cinema. Simpson was everywhere, from thrilling audiences in NFL stadiums to charming them in Hertz commercials and on the silver screen. But beneath this glittering surface lay the seeds of a darker narrative. The early warning signs came from his personal life. Married in 1985 to Nicole Brown, a young waitress he met at a Beverly Hills nightclub, Simpson's relationship was fraught with tension and accusations of domestic abuse. These allegations, though initially dismissed by many as tabloid fodder, began to paint a troubling picture of the man behind the celebrity smile. The situation reached a boiling point on the night of June 12, 1994, when Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman were found brutally murdered outside her Brentwood home. The evidence led directly to Simpson, who soon found himself amid a media frenzy that turned his trial into a national spectacle. Dubbed the trial of the century, it featured a glove that didn't fit, a slow-speed chase that captivated millions, and a verdict that split the nation. Acquitted of the murders, Simpson's legal victory did little to sway public opinion, which had already begun to turn against him. This trial, however, was just the beginning of Simpson's downfall. The public and media scrutiny never waned, and his life post-acquittal was anything but a return to normalcy. The shadow of the trial cast a long, dark shadow over his remaining years, a prelude to further missteps and legal troubles that would eventually strip him of the last vestiges of his former glory. 
the aftermath of the murder trial did not bring peace to O.J. Simpson's life. Despite the not guilty verdict, a civil trial soon followed, and in 1997, Simpson was found liable for the wrongful deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. This verdict came with a hefty $33.5 million judgment against him, significantly impacting his financial status and further tarnishing his public image. As Simpson struggled to rebuild his life, his attempts to remain in the public eye often backfired. His involvement in various media projects, including the controversial book If I Did It, where he hypothetically discussed how the murders might have been committed, sparked Hospice? Hospice? You talking about hospice? <laughs> no, I, I'm not in any hospital. I don't know who put that out there, but whoever put that out there, I guess it's like the Donald Singh. Can't trust the media. I mean, when I think about this uh, Alex Murdoch trial, I don't know why they think I'm an expert. <laughs> who remember that portion, taking a knife from Charlie? And to be honest, after that, I don't remember, except I'm standing there. And I'm not talking about Johnny Unitas. <laughs> Uh, in any event, well, we got a few more hours and we'll know. Uh, please, I hope you're with friends, uh, the ones who are not going to the game. And hey, just it, it should be a great game because all the good. OJ Simpson has passed away at age 76. OJ, he was uh, battling cancer and uh, he's passed. So, yet Simpson could not step away from the spotlight that led to his next and most damning legal entanglement. In 2007, he was arrested in Las Vegas for a bizarre and ill-fated attempt to retrieve sports memorabilia that he claimed was stolen from him. The incident, involving armed associates and a poorly planned heist, seemed to be another desperate grab at reclaiming a past that had long slipped away. This time, the consequences were dire. Simpson was convicted of armed robbery and kidnapping, resulting in a sentence of up to 33 years in prison. A stark reversal for the once-beloved sports hero. This chapter of Simpson's life marked not just physical imprisonment, but also the symbolic culmination of his personal and public demise. His actions had not only ensnared him in another legal debacle, but also further cemented his status as a pariah in the eyes of many. The shadows of his past actions and decisions loomed larger than ever, casting a long, dark shadow from which there would be no escape. After serving nine years, O.J. Simpson was granted parole in 2017 due to good behavior and the non-violent nature of his crime related to the robbery. Released into a world much changed from the one he had left, Simpson moved to a gated community in Nevada, seeking a quieter, less conspicuous life. Yet the specter of his past continued to loom large, with public interest never fully waning. Simpson tried to maintain a low profile, focusing on golf and personal rehabilitation, but he remained a figure of intense media scrutiny and public curiosity. As Simpson aged, his health began to deteriorate. Rumors swirled about his condition, including speculations that he was battling cancer and had entered hospice care, claims he publicly denied. Despite his attempts to quash such rumors, the truth of his ill health became increasingly apparent. In early 2024, it was confirmed that Simpson was indeed suffering from prostate cancer, a revelation that came as a shock to many who still followed his story. O.J. Simpson passed away on April 10, 2024. His death was met with a mixed reaction. Some mourned the loss of the once great athlete and charismatic actor, while others reflected bitterly on the crimes he was accused of. The media coverage of his death was extensive, with news outlets recounting the highs and lows of his tumultuous life. I've done my time. You know, I've done it as well and as respectfully as I think anybody can. At times it, combative. You know, it was my property. I wasn't there to steal from anybody. And I would never, ever pull a weapon on anybody. At times you know, contrite. You know, nine years away from your family is just, just not worth it. I basically have spent a conflict-free life. He has served as commissioner of the prison softball league, started a Baptist church service, and took classes like alternative to violence. It gave me so many tools uh, how to use it to, to, you know, to try to walk these guys through, you know, not throwing punches at one another. Supporters at the hearing included his sister, Shirley Baker, and daughter Arnell, who testified. We just want him to come home so that we can move forward for us, quietly. <laughs> 
but to move forward. Simpson. I'll be here tomorrow for you. I mean that, but. It's the latest legal twist for Simpson, who in the 90s was accused and acquitted of murdering his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron Goldman. But in a civil trial, he was found liable for the killings. The parole board says those cases were mentioned in many of the opposition letters it received from the public. These items will not be considered in this case. Christopher Darden, author of the book In Contempt, was one of the prosecutors in Simpson's murder trial. He is the same O.J. I saw in 1994. He's still a narcissist. He is still a very manipulative person, and he is still inclined to blame other people for his conduct. Twelve years after O.J. Simpson spoke on camera about the murders of his ex-wife and her friend Ron Goldman, the interview is being made public. And while the conversation was supposed to be a hypothetical discussion about the double murder, some say Simpson's comments certainly sound like a confession. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. A great game because all the great players that are involved. Hey, God bless, take care, and I hope your team win uh, if that your team is the 49ers. <laughs> As we close this chapter on one of the most polarizing figures of the 20th century, it's essential to ponder what lessons can be drawn from his life and death. How do we balance a person's contributions to society with their faults and misdeeds? What are your thoughts on O.J. Simpson's legacy? How should society remember him as a sports icon, a troubled individual, or something else entirely? Share your views in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth analysis of other compelling figures and stories.